What up, YouTube? What is going on? Welcome back to Dante's Ranch Room, and I am your host, Dante, and we are back with another video. And as always, I appreciate y'all for tuning in yet again because your support keeps me and this channel going, so make sure y'all do me a favor and hit the red subscribe button for more content like this in Nerdy Geek Culture, Anime, Manga, and Gaming. So today we're here to talk about voice actors, and we are on the page, or Twitter page, of Senna Breyer, who believes that trans characters should only or mainly be voiced by trans individuals. So this person goes on to say that it's trans day of visibility, and the most visible trans woman in anime and video games is still played by a woman who has uh, shown no signs of ever stepping down. And Guilty Gear's local edition director did a targeted hate raid on trans people who spoke out against this decision. Now, I have not heard anything about this in case you guys are not aware. Those who've been following me for a while, I have been covering this whole Guilty Gear Strive situation for a long time. Um, it was quite the saga, right? <laughs> it was quite interesting. So I don't remember this happening. I think I would have heard something like this happening eventually. So that being said, this person will need to show us some proof of said hate raid because, oh no. Yeah, if you're gonna throw this out there on the internet, you're gonna have to show us some proof. At least try because, uh, yeah, I'm not seeing it. So it goes on to say, that and um, there's so much, there's so so much more, and this is an endemic state of the voice over industry. Poison has been voiced in three, possibly more, video games and never once been done by a trans woman. Oh, well, no. I don't even know if Poison is trans. Last I checked, Poison is not trans. Am I am I bugging out here? Um, I don't think this person. <laughs> Is uh, yeah no I, I don't am I bugging out? I, I don't remember this person being trans though. So what are we talking about? And not for nothing, I had to break it to you, Senna Briar. I'm gonna get this short, sweet, and to the point here. And I'm sure the fans of my page will mostly agree without me being a douche about this, right? But you are a voice actor, right? The role should go to the most talented person for that role. That is it. <laughs> that is simply it. You know what I'm saying? No one cares about what you are behind the screen. All I care about is can you get the job done? When I hear voices in video games, anime, or even cartoons, I'm not asking, oh, is that person black? Is he, he gotta be black. Is Dante voiced by a black man? It's gotta be a black man. I, I don't care. It's got to be voiced by someone who is the most talented. Because if we go by your ideology or by your um, uh, reasoning, you wouldn't have seen stuff like this, fam. By the way, make sure you guys do me a favor and hit the red subscribe button. Uh, let's get us to 2K subscribers. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video and a comment to engage in conversation. Share this video and follow me on Twitter. So, we have this guy. I'm sure you guys remember him. He, is, he was Uncle Phil from... The uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, the original Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And he voiced, in case you guys don't know, the OG Shredder. Did you know that? <laughs> he did a phenomenal job. And I don't think anyone cared about his race. All they cared about was, this guy did a great job. When I'm sure when he auditioned, they were just like, bruh, this guy can make an awesome ninja. <laughs> He's got to be the leader of the Foot Clan. That's all that mattered, right? Come on, guys, you know I'm right. Or, okay, how about this one? Phil Lamar, I use him a lot in my examples, right? He's voiced multiple characters. I can go on, the list is insane. But he's most notably known for voicing Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack ain't black. <laughs> that rhyme, by the way. But you get the point, right? If they have focused on, well, he's definitely not Asian, so maybe we should get some money Asian to voice this guy. You see what I'm saying? No one cared. Honestly, if he had never told me he was black, I would never have known <laughs> the guy who voiced um, Samurai Jack was black. I was like, whoever did it, the voice, amazing. Freaking phenomenal. 
You know what I'm saying? And then we have Kevin Michael Richardson. He's done like Phil Lamar multiple roles, but he's also well known for voicing Barney Rubbles, which I had no idea was a thing. Kudos to you, good sir. And he also voiced that white hillbilly from American Dad. Or is it American Dad or the Cleveland Show? I think it's the Cleveland Show. Yeah, and as you can see from your screen here, <laughs> I know it's gonna be kind of small for you guys, but he's voiced a multitude of multi raced alienated <laughs> characters. You get my point? Not what you look like, what you are, doesn't freaking matter. Can you get the job done? Do you sound great? Can you be a professional at what you do without talking crap? That's all that matters. To just say, well, it's a trans character, so it should be voiced by only trans individuals. I don't agree with that. It should be voiced by whoever is the most talented person for the role. What y'all thought about this? And then it goes on to it's a non-stop thread about characters who may or may not be trans, by the way, because you're using poison, which I don't think is trans, and saying this person should be voiced by only a trans person. Don't agree. Uh, it's a long yeah, thread. And then this is where people got mad, because this person added... Uh, Yamato from One Piece and we've discussed this multiple times fam right and it's been proven that this character is not trans indeed this character is female that is it um yeah people didn't like that one I think let me see if I can check out the comment section on this one in particular um let's see uh let's scroll down it says uh right 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 by the way keeps on going she's going this oh look at um, that's a woman. <laughs> Yamato is not trans, okay? No, uh, nowhere in the story stated that Yamato is trans. Is Yamato trans? No, this is she. See, this is evidence if anyone is other, um, says otherwise. My bad, guys. Which, by the way, we've been through this before, it's been debunked. Yamato is not trans. Yamato is not trans, bro. Oda stated Yamato is a woman. Cry hard about your fake issues. Um, if you treat fictional characters like they are real, you're the one with mental issues. I listen, I stand on that. Facts. Totally agree. Um, and you guys can see it's it's list of people like even all over the place coming out of the woodwork that Yamato is not trans. It's true though. And then she gets mad about the one character from uh Hogwarts who is indeed actually trans. Um, I believe this person goes on to say. Uh, let's see. Also, guess who actually did this cast authentically? Are you really going to let Hogwarts flipping legacy be a better source of trans VA representation than you? It's not my job to make sure you get that. I'm sorry. Um, this representation you seek. I do believe that the voice acting community or job should be, I mean, should be the most diverse job on the planet because no one cares or no one usually cares about what you freaking look like. We care about the job that you do. It's literally that simple, okay? Um, I hope that this person gets more roles um, down the line, though the, this person does seem quite unhinged, I um, hate to say. Um, actually, let me see this real quick. I'm sorry, guys. Uh... No, it just keeps going. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I hope the person gets more jobs. I hope the person just relies on their own talents and not the fact that they are trans because at some point in time, I'm sure, I'm almost 100% sure that that won't work. <laughs> Eventually, people would be like, yeah, no one cares. The point of the matter is, can you get the job done? Anyway, this is sad. Um, you don't care about what you are, just get the job done. What do you guys thoughts about this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do consider hitting the red subscribe button for more content like this. And also looking forward to reading your comments in the comment section as always. Follow me on Twitter and I'll see you guys on the next one. I can't wait to read your guys' comments and peace.